Hey there you guys, Sean Allen here. Before we continue on with today's video, I want to just briefly mention something very quickly. As you notice on the title of this video, this is the 200th video on the Design Video Series YouTube channel. <laughs> it's it's mind-boggling. 200 videos. Did I really work on 200 videos? Yikes. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support, your friendship, your comments, your messages, your tweets, um, your Facebook messages. It's really, it, it just brightens my day when I see those messages. I wouldn't have gotten this far uh, without your support. It is so, so awesome that um, I have such a great, um, such great viewers. I, I'm trying not to say fans because to me fans is not the, the appropriate word. I've never said fans before. Well, I might have said it a couple of times, but um, you guys like to call yourselves fans. I call you guys as my viewers, and if you want to call yourselves fans, that's absolutely fine, but I just don't want to take it to a, to a level where I'm, you know, over you guys, like I'm better than anybody. I'm just an average person making videos for YouTube and just doing it for, not just for a partial living, but also as, like, um, entertainment. And you guys have proven to me that I can do that. <laughs> and that's by achieving up to 200 videos on this channel. And don't worry, there's going to be more coming. A lot more. But I remember when I when I first passed the 100 video, I was like, okay, what's going to happen <laughs> during the next 100 videos? And it's been an amazing journey. And it's going to continue on. Um, and that title sequence, by the way, where it showed the castle... That's going to be the last time you guys see that because I'm developing a brand new intro. I've used that exact same intro for literally three and a half years. And now for this last video, the 200 video, that intro is going to be the last one that you're going to see. Because in my 201st video, a brand new intro, really cool picture that I made that I actually got, uh, was submitted to the Cal State Northridge um, Multimedia Showcase. Um... And who knows, it might be a winner. I don't know. Definitely more episodes of Mealtime in Disneyland. A ton more vlogs. I'm actually trying to get into some more ride reviews. And I'm just trying to really, um, shall we say, make the experience more interesting and more fun. Um, so expect more videos to come, definitely. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And enjoy the video. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys, and now uh, let's continue on with today's video. Disneyland at home! Hey there you guys, Sean Allen here. Welcome to this episode of Disneyland at Home. I hope you guys are having a great day. How am I doing? Oh, I'm having a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious day. <laughs> yeah, that's something I wanted to say. Anyways, I am not at Disneyland right now. As you can see, I'm at home. Hence the title of the video. So I thought for today's video, I show you guys my pin collection. Now, I know there are some of you out there who collect pins like nonstop. I've seen people wear vests that are full of pins, the lanyards that are full of pins. I don't have that many, although I don't really know <laughs> for that for a fact, but I do have some. I do have some that I have collected over the last couple of years, more recently because of the 60th anniversary. In fact, in the mail today, I got two of these packages, and one came, I believe, yesterday. <gasps> what are those? What are those? Ooh, you guys got to find out in my next episode of Disneyland at Home. I wanted to share with you guys my little pin collection that I have, because some of these are... Um, some of them are a little common that you can get like any day at Disneyland. Some of them are a little rare and some are like really rare. And you know, some of these are probably going to be sold for a while and then gone forever. So, um, like, like for example, the 60th anniversary pins, once those are gone, they're going to be gone forever and the prices go way up on like Amazon. Uh, let me just say that's a fact because the ones in these packages, yeah, oh, I had to spend a little bit of this, a little bit more than I would with the regular pins. But anyways, uh, let me show you my collection right now. Uh, they're distributed around my Disneyland display as you can see. Um, yes, we'll get to some of these uh, in a minute, but let's go over here to the my little Tomorrowland section and we'll start with this one because I believe this was like one of my 
first, no, maybe my third pin that I got ever from Disneyland. And I really like this one a lot. It's a 3D pin, and it's big. It's really big. They still sell these at Disneyland. And as you can see, it's for the monorail. Now, this is still being sold, like I said, at Disneyland, but there's something very interesting about this pin that is really inaccurate. You notice we have the Grizzly Peak Mountain here, and here's the Matterhorn right here. Well, look at this. There's the castle... But instead of the Buena Vista Street Bridge, that's the Golden Gate Bridge from when Disney California Adventure first opened. So in other words, even though they're still selling this exact same pin, they're still making it with the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> they haven't taken it out yet. Although there is a little tiny bit of track left over from the Golden Gate Bridge that you see from the monorail. That is if you're seeing in the very front of the monorail. But yes, the Golden Gate Bridge is still on this pin. I actually saw the pin recently, and it's still there, which I think is hilarious. So, yeah, I think that's a really cool little item from the pins. Moving on now, here is my special Tomorrowland movie pin. This isn't this isn't like the official Tomorrowland pin. I know there's one that they made for uh, 1964 and 80s version, but this is like the Disney Parks version of the Tomorrowland pin, and it's really big. Um, it's not like the same size as the one in the movie, but it's pretty close. And here's something interesting. I thought this pin was only going to be released during the time of when the movie was out. And trust me, when I was there that this one week at Disneyland, I was actually able to find this pin. Then the other times, I was not able to find it. Well, on my last trip, which was back in April, when, uh, actually, yeah, in April, I actually found this pin again in the, I think it's in the Condor Flats area, the uh, the store right there, next, right, like right across from the store over California attraction. I actually saw this pin, and it was like one rack. <laughs> that was it. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. But yeah, this is from the movie, or the movie version of the pin. And I've been tempted to get the other ones, you know, the other pins that look just like the ones from the movie, but I think I'll stick with this one. So that's the Tomorrowland pin, and I believe that's... Oh, oh wait, actually, well, this is a regular... California Adventure pin. I, this was actually for my first trip to Disneyland uh, for my vlog series. And uh, this is just Disney California Adventure, the logo right there. I thought that was kind of a neat little item right there. Now, moving on to my bigger display. This is a very cool pin. If you haven't gotten this, go and get it. This is a special Disneyland pin that at first I thought was just a special 3D pin. Well, watch this. It's not just a pin. It's also a ticket booklet. Look at that. If you guys remember uh, back in the old days when Disneyland had the A through E tickets, there they are, right there. It's a little ticket booklet. That's really cool. I didn't realize that until like maybe a month after I had this and I opened this thing up and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of neat. So this is actually my first, uh, I believe my first Disneyland pin ever. And there it is. It's a booklet, <laughs> a ticket booklet. It's really cool. And this is one of my first character um, pins, as you can see right here. This is Alice. This is one of the regular Alice's you could get from the Disneyland store. Uh, I just got that one because I, you know, I, I'm a fan of Alice in Wonderland as much as I am a fan of Dumbo. Don't worry, I did, I did get a Dumbo pin. It's in one of these packets. I don't know which one it is, but, uh, I'll get to it eventually. It's one of the 60th anniversary pins. I'll be going up there with all the other ones. Um, now we have some other pins that are in this display area. There's actually one right here that I guess I better show you before I completely forget about it. This is my Haunted Mansion pocket watch pin. Now, what's cool about this is that it opens up and it shows, like, the time. It doesn't work, obviously. It doesn't have batteries. But there you go. The Haunted Mansion 13 right there. Oh, you know what? Actually, I did, I did skip uh, a couple of other pins that I forgot to show you. But this is the Haunted Mansion pin. Um, and I thought, I really like this one. This is really cool. It looks like a pocket watch. And it opens up, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So over here, we have my special Pirates of the Caribbean pin. And it looks like the sign out by the front entrance to the uh, the attraction. And I thought it was kind of a neat one. And in the hat, we have a medallion. I have a medallion right there. I actually have a third one right here somewhere. But this is uh, a medallion and a pin at the same time. But it's metal. This isn't plastic, although it might be plastic. But it, it, I think it, it's part plastic, part metal. But yeah. That's a medallion pin that you can get at Disneyland. I think they're still selling those. I know they're selling that one for sure. But, um, yeah, those are really cool pins. Now, these pins, I don't believe, are being sold anymore. But these are D23 exclusives because 
uh, well, they're from the D23. These I actually got from the Ronald Reagan Library when they had that special um, Walt Disney Archives uh, exhibit at the museum or library. And I thought these were really cool. Uh, these represent the books that were used in the movies. This is Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. We me open this one up. There we have the mirror, which is supposed to be like the magic mirror. It has a little bit of an um, inscription here. Here's Cinderella. We open this one up. It shows the first page from the movie right there that you see. And here's Sleeping Beauty. I actually got to see these things, the real books, in person. And the one for Sleeping Beauty here, the uh, gems or the <laughs> the uh, gemstones on here are humongous. And there's Sleeping Beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Make it pink, make it blue, make it pink, make it blue. <laughs> so those are really cool. Those are on the sides of my of my display here. And uh, moving on now, this isn't really a pin, but it's actually a name tag. This is my special Star Tours pin or tag I got from uh, the Disneyland Resort during the Force uh, season of the Force. Uh, here's a very cool one. This was actually released recently. This is Sorcerer Mickey with a batch of, I guess, potion or something. I don't know what it is, but I thought it was really cool. It was a neat little 3D type pin, so I got that one. And over here, underneath Kylo Ren here, as you can see, that I got from Disneyland, he lost his lightsaber. I can't believe it. Um, right here, we have the special Star Wars Launch Bay pin. And believe me, you might want to get these now before they disappear, because once Star Wars Land opens up, those will be gone forever. So get your Star Wars Launch Bay pins as soon as possible. Now, here's a really cool pin that I really liked. This is a pin that I got uh, a few months ago. I believe they're still selling these. Oh, this is actually part of the uh, uh, Diamond Editions. Uh, anyways, this is a special pin that I got uh, in commemoration of, of uh, what is it, uh, California Screaming and the, I forget what the attraction is, but it's it's now called uh, Mickey's Fun Wheel. But this is, this is supposed to be the old version of these attractions. Uh, as you know, if you've been to Disney, California Adventure doesn't have the Mickey Mouse head here anymore. Neither does it have this uh, Ferris wheel have the sun on here. So I got this one instead of the other one that they have. They actually have a different version where they don't have this here. And this is the face of Mickey Mouse. I thought this was kind of a neat pin. Plus, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a description here. It says, as long as there is imagination left in the world, Walt Disney. And uh, I believe there's, uh, like I guess, a continuation of like the quote on some of the other pins. But that's the one I've got. Hey, Shetty. So I'm sitting here getting ready to uh, create the insulate for this video and check this out. I pulled this out so I can take a photo of it and look at this. I mentioned that the other pen had the other sections of Paradise Pier that are brand new. <laughs> Shadow, come on. I'm trying to spin this. Look at this. I didn't know this. You can actually spin it around and look. Check that out. I don't need to get a second pen. <laughs> it's already on here. <laughs> So look, there it is. Mickey's Fun Wheel and Supreme Scream. Or uh, Supreme Scream. That's not Spray Farm. I meant California Scream. And, um, yeah. So, that is so funny. Shaddy, you're getting on my nerves. I'm trying to film here. <laughs> Shaddy, stop it. You want to take the spotlight, don't you? Okay, fine. Okay, back to the video. Then we down here, we have one of the more recent pins. This is BB-8. He has a spinning ball, as you can see, because he, he runs on a ball. And um, that's pretty much the pin. It also says Join the Resistance, BB-8, and it's got the Rebel Alliance symbol on there. Um, I believe that's my only Star Wars pin that I've gotten, but uh, as you can see, it's... Oh, no, actually, I take that back. This is <laughs> that's my second because I've got the Star Wars Launch Bay one right here. Anyways, uh, those are my pins on this side of the display. I believe I got them all. Oh, wait, before we continue on, I forgot about these way back here. They're hiding. These are special pins that I got from the Walt Disney Archives event that happened at the Reagan Library. There's the special pin where you see Steamboat Willie, Mickey, and the regular Mickey Mouse that we see at Disneyland. And then over here, on the other side of this hat, is the Nautilus. It's being attacked by the giant squid. That's, again, from the Treasures of the Walt Disney Archives from the Walt, uh, the uh, Reagan Library. Very, very cool. Exclusive pins, not sold anywhere else, only at the Reagan Library back in the day when they had that special event. And uh, those are cool. This is the, I guess we'll start off with the 60th anniversary. Well, we kind of started with the, um, the California Scream and the Paradise Pier pin. But this is a special lanyard medal. These, I thought, were considered rare, but I still see these being sold at Disneyland. I guess they're not being sold that often. But this, my friends, is like the biggest pin I think I have on my display. And as you can see, it's for the annual pass holders. I believe anybody can get this, but specifically for annual pass holders. And it's in honor of the Diamond Celebration. 
and as you can see, it's silver. Uh, I don't believe it's, it looks, it's supposed to look like it's crystal, but I don't think there's any, like, diamonds, real diamonds in it. It wasn't cheap, I can tell you that, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. I think you would wear this, at, like, around the base of your lanyard. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a neat item. I think I actually have footage of me getting the, the, the medal right, right around the time when the 60th anniversary got started. So, um, I'll look for that footage and I'll post the link down below in the description of this video for that, uh, for that video when I got the medal. And now we're moving on to my very large 60th anniversary pin collection up here. And there's three more down here. We'll get to that in a second. But as you can see, here they are. These are my pins right here. And... Um, I basically put these in the uh, in the order that I got them in, and we'll just start with this one. That's my very first diamond from the Disney Diamond Edition, and it's got Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Here we have the Disney D with a diamond in the middle, which kind of resembles my logo in a way. Uh, what's cool is that you can bend this down such that this can stand up like a like a little display. Right over here we have a 60th anniversary limited release pin. It's got Tinkerbell up there. This one I thought was really cool because. As you can see, it's got what they are supposed to look like diamonds, but um, it's a 3D pin. Uh, I thought it was really cool because of the diamonds in there. It's got the circular there. It's blue. So I liked it. It was really cool. Here we have another Disneyland uh, Diamond Edition pin. This is the D with 60 in it. There's one with the castle. It's got a lot of diamonds in it, as usual, for the uh, Diamond Editions. Now, these pins are cool. I'll get to those in a second, but here we have the Mickey Ears hat. I actually got that recently at Disneyland. And these are cool because you can flip these open and it will show an image of a particular item or attraction. Now, this one, if I remember correctly, yes, this one inside this pen contains the Matterhorn and the Sno <laughs> Abominable Snowman. I keep saying the Yeti. That's the one over in um, Expedition Everest. But there is the Abominable Snowman right there and the Matterhorn that's in this pen. And what could be in this one, I wonder? Hmm. Well, when I saw this one in the display case, I was like, I had to get this one and... You guys will be amazed at this one. I really like this one a lot. When you open it up, it's got one of the fairies from Sleeping Beauty, and there is Sleeping Beauty's castle right back there. This is a very cool one. I really like this one a lot, and I was so glad to get this one. And that is my collection so far. And now, without further ado, we get to add live three more additions to the display. And, or it'll be live when I'm recording this, but not live for you guys, but... This is my special <laughs> mail order um, pins I got off of Amazon. It was weird because when I was looking at like the the status, one of them said that it was delayed. It was supposed to be here in two weeks, but it actually came today when I ordered this like on these on Monday. So <laughs> yeah, um, mm, get your facts straight there, guys on Amazon. No, I'm just kidding, you guys did awesome. Thank you so much for shipping these. But anyways, uh, let's get to opening these up and see what we got. Which one should I open up first? Small, medium, or large? Eh, let's go small. Let's see what's in package number one. All right. I think there's some info in my hand right now. I'll probably have to lock that. Hold on one second. Oh, it's folded up. Never mind. We're good. And the pin. Oh, there it is. The pin is. Oh, it's Alice. Yay. There's Alice. And it's a 60th anniversary pin. I got a second Alice pin, as you can see. It doesn't have the backing on it, though. Hmm, interesting. But yes, there is the Alice pin. I'm probably going to put it up there with all the other ones. That's cool. Okay, package number two. All right, I think there's some papers coming out here. Where did I have my info out? Nope, it's, no, it does. Hold on a second. Yeah, I don't want you guys to see my mailing address. Not yet, at least. <laughs> all right, where's the pin? Ooh, what is this one? What is this one, I wonder? Oh, it's in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> and what pin do we have here? Oh, cool! This is the <laughs> the Grizzly uh, Peak pin. Grizzly River Run, February 8th. Is that right? 8th, 2001. Very, very cool. Pin Trading Board Game Completer pin. That is cool. That's like a gold pin. Very cool. All right, last but not least, I already know what pin this one is, and I think I already mentioned about it earlier in the video, but this is pin number three. How am I going to open this? I have to pry this thing open. All right, pin number three. Hold on. 
What's pin number three gonna be? <gasps> Dumbo! There's Dumbo! Yay! My first Dumbo pin, I think. Wow, that's a nice one. It kind of looks like uh, that one right there, but this is cool. You guys know I like Dumbo. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. There you go, Dumbo. There's a pin. Hey, Casey Jr. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. After like maybe 20 minutes of me trying to rearrange this, I finally got them up. Yay! There they are, the newest additions to my Disneyland pin collection. Alice, Grizzly Peak, and Dumbo. <laughs> very, very cool. Very neat pins. Bonus package. I was getting ready to edit the video you just watched, and the Amazon guy came by and dropped this package off. So what's in here? Let's find out. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? A pop figure. <gasps> oh, it's Alice. <laughs> Sweet, my first pop figure. Disney. Yes, this is the classic Disney Alice figure. Planning on putting it right over here. Excuse me, Aladdin. I'll be taking it out of the package and she'll be going right there. Oh, hello, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Different franchise. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm bring some. DC Comics, but anyways, you guys, there you go, got a bonus comment, uh, bo bonus package, pop figure, Alice, I know it's not a pin, but it came, I thought, what the heck, I'll just add this into the video, because I know it's Disney related, and, uh, yeah, in case you want to know what she looks like on the display, there she is, right there near the Cheshire Cat Egg, cool, <laughs> Well, on that note, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, favorite the video, share your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel, The Design Video Series. And by the way, if you guys have a special pin collection, let me know about it. I'm not really collecting all the pins you can you can basically see. I go for the ones that are like the really going to be like the extremely rare ones and the really cool ones. So, um, yeah, I've got a small collection. I know there's some that have like tons and tons of pins. But uh, I don't think you'll ever see me wear like a whole like suit of pins. But um, this is just like a small collection, I'd say. But there, it's a good collection. Um, I'm really happy about it. And I might be getting a few more 60th anniversary pins before the 60th anniversary ends. Which I think ends in like June or September or something like that. But um, definitely go and collect some of these pins. Because once these 60th anniversary uh, pins are gone, they're going to be gone forever. And for those of you who are <laughs> really interested in looking for the really rare ones... You'll probably go going on to Amazon like I did and have to pay a hefty price for these pins. But um, pretty much all of these, except for those three, have come from Disneyland. And um, I have to say that I'm really glad about it. I'm happy about this collection and hope you guys really enjoyed it. So again, if you liked the video, hit that like button. It's greatly appreciated. And let me know if you guys have a pin collection. Uh, I'd like to know about it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time here on the Disneyland Video Series. Bye-bye!